Hi, my name is Jane. Today I'm going to be showing you the lip bar's newest product, the Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. I'm going to be showing you how to use this product without using foundation, just to highlight and conceal a little of the places on your face. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. There's no need to use a brush. I'm even going to bring it onto my eyelid so I can get that total brightness in it. I like using my fingers because I think it's like just ready to use on the go. You never have to pack a product with you. I'm also just gonna conceal around my nose, a couple of my problem areas. I also like to conceal around my eyebrows to kind of carve them out and give them a little bit more of a highlight. The concealers are curated by complexion, so I wear foundation 103, so I use the one o'clock concealer. Lip Bar has made it really easy with kind of curating the shades, so you don't have to struggle with finding whatever concealer shade works for you, and using your finger is really nice because it really helps to make that blending easier. So this is just applied on half of my face, and you can already see the difference it has made. So this concealer does contain caffeine, so it's really nice. You can feel the energy just brighten on your face, and it really does just lift up and highlight the places that you need to have. This formula is self-setting, so it does not require any setting powder. It's pretty convenient, and the formula is super nice and hydrating, especially in these areas where it's really delicate skin. Really nice nourishment and conditioning of the skin. So I just finished my face with the one o'clock concealer. Now I'm gonna finish off with some eyebrows. So I use highbrow, is the darkest shade. With the eyebrow, I typically just kind of reshape it more than just filling in because I have really dark hair. One thing I find really helpful while using this, especially with the concealer, is if you do go out of the lines of your brow, you can use this to kind of clean it up. It'll just really carve out that look. Now on the dual ended, I'm also gonna use the brow gel that comes with it just right there you can see how you can use the concealer to clean it the minute finish face palette this is in the shade for the one o'clock family I'm gonna start with the face powder in the shade work I'm just gonna put it in my oily spot now I'm going to move into the bronzing shade I'm gonna use the dual ended lip bar brush yeah. so I'm using the bronzer in the face palette I'm just going into the hollows of my cheeks yeah. blending up I also like to put it on the jawline. Next, I'm gonna hop into the blush shade. Now I'm gonna dive into the highlighting shade. And I like to put a lot just on my cheekbone up here. I even like to bring it up to the eyebrow and you can just see how that highlights the face. At this point, I like to go back in with the concealer underneath where I put my bronzer. This will just kind of add a little bit more shape to your face, a little bit more definition, and it'll give you that kind of like hollow cheekbone look. And it's just adding a little bit extra concealer. It looks like I have more of a cheekbone effect than before, and that was just with the bronzer and concealer. So now I'm gonna start with some eyeliner. This is the Lash Strengthening Mascara from the Lip Bar. This is made to really lengthen your eyelashes, and you can just see. My favorite lip bar lip gloss, this is Bourjois. It's a really nice pinky nude, and that is it.